Hi everybody, I'm Malcolm Compatello and it's my distinct privilege to be the program director for the Humanities Seminars program and I'd like to invite you to join me this July as we explore the work of one of the modern period's greatest artists, Francisco de Goya y Lucientes. I spent about 50 years of my life investigating the nature of the relationships between culture and society in the Hispanic world and especially Spain. Uh, Goya's work represents a crucial piece in the complex puzzle that is Spain's problematic relationship with the birth and development of modernity. At the same time, Goya's long engagement with art uh, represents an important moment of transition as art moves beyond the realist tradition and into the complexities that we all know uh, about art in the 20th century and beyond. Moreover, Goya's uh, groundbreaking work in experimenting with printmaking helped move high art into the age of mechanical reproduction. Now, this is what I'd like us to consider doing this summer. I'm going to provide a little bit of context and a framework for looking at Goya's art, and then we're going to look at five particular moments in Goya's artistic development that I think are crucial for helping to understand what he was attempting to do and the conditions to which he was uh, reacting and against which he reacted. The first uh, is to take a look at his portraits, the evolution of the way he depicted himself and self-portraits and others, and to see what that tells us about Goya's growing social consciousness. We'll then move to look at two of his three most famous uh, collections of etchings, the Disparates and especially the Caprichos. The Napoleonic uh, invasion of Spain at the beginning of the 19th century had a tremendous impact on Goya's thinking and on the way he did art. Uh, and we're gonna look at this particularly in his famous paintings done about that invasion and in probably the greatest collection of anti-war artistic creations in the modern world, which is Goya's The Disasters of War. We'll then take a look at uh, some of Goya's later work. We'll begin with an examination of his black paintings and look at what motivated that uh, very, very dark vision. And we'll move to some of the later, more reflective works that he did both in Spain and when he moved to France towards the end of his life. We'll end with a look at the long legs of Goya's artistic creation, uh, how it influenced and continues to influence artists around the world. What I hope you'll be able to take out of this class is either be introduced or uh, heighten your vision of an incredible artistic talent at once troubled and nurtured by the complexities that human beings face in an increasingly complex modern world. I invite you to join me this July. See you this summer.